Beautiful Dreams and welcome back for another video with your girl, Shalinda One. What's up guys? So, I was trying to figure out how did I want to bring these next few videos to you. And I have some new products here that I've been trying during my little break and whatever. So, I was like, how am I going to do reviews? So, I figure if you're like me, right, because when I got these, I went on YouTube or whatever and I wanted to get other people's opinion, but I didn't want to hear the fluff. Oh my God, if, I feel like I'm a different YouTuber because I don't want to hear the fluff. I want you to get to it. So I decided, you know what, instead of if you guys would like full reviews or full demo reviews or any of these products I'm about to show you, of course leave it below and I'll get right on that. But I wanted to give my quick um, review on each of these products. Now each of these, each of these products I've used a few times and um, so I know how I feel about them. So here we go. So real quick, let's talk about my haircut that I am loving. Uh -huh. Loving my haircut. I did it myself. I um, It was one night, 11.30 at night, me and my husband was on the couch watching television. And I was scrolling on social media and I saw Mahogany. She, is, she had just put up a post. Uh, or at least I had just saw that she put up a post and she had cut all her hair off. And I was just like, ah. it was like music to my ears, guys. It was just like, ugh. Oh. Just what I needed to see, because I knew I wanted to do something. I needed a pick-me-up. I needed to either cut it off, shave it off, color it. I, and I still do want to color my hair. I'm a little afraid to color it, but I do want to color it. It's going to happen. But I needed something, and I knew I needed to trim it, but I just... I was trying to hook up with this hairstylist, and she was just taking too long, and our schedules never meshed. So honestly, I got up off the couch. I went and grabbed my mirror and my shears and I got to cutting right there in the living room. I did not record it. I was in the moment. I wasn't considering like let's share it. I, I didn't, I just did it. And what's supposed to have been a trim turned into this and I'm loving it and I cut the shape myself and I didn't look at any videos. I just went off of what I was seeing in the mirror. So unfortunately I didn't cut, um, capture it and I'm so sorry. But, that's what happened. However, because I was so into my hair over the break and taking care of it and doing something, I had picked up some new products and I wanna share with those. I wanna share those with you today. So, here we go. I'm just gonna pick them up. It's five products in all. The first one I'm gonna pick up is the one that's closer to me and it's this bad boy right here. Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic Curl Stem You Later, okay. So I've tried this product twice. I've tried it both times, no, one time in the shower, one time out of the shower, one time with leave-in, the second time without leave-in. And what I will say is I use the, um, is it down here? Is it, up? Oh, ha ha ha! This is the leave-in. Now remember I did a review on this and I was saying that I don't really remember that it did anything for my hair. Well, I'm not gonna lie, uh, I kinda love it and hate it at the same time. So this is fantastic if you are a person who struggle with keeping your hair moisturized. When I say this bad boy will take moisture and hydration out of the air and keep your hair, when I use this in my hair and Kennedy's hair and I specifically use this when I'm not really focused on the styling of my hair. This is when I love this product and why is because it is going to absorb that moisture into your hair like nobody's business. I can go I, like from wash day to wash day without re-moisturizing my hair because this makes sure that whatever products are in my hair, this just draws moisture and my hair feels super, super moisturized. Now the reason why I hate this bad boy is because I can't keep a style in my hair. Because if I use this and I go out my house, oh, oh, it's over is over like it is not uh -uh. Uh -uh. like this is going to absorb that moisture and those curls or those crimps or whatever you done did is going bye bye and here come the fro so i love this for what it does for my hair and i hate this for what it does to my hair back to this so this is uncle funky this is a curl stimulator for kinky curls and wavy textures I like this without a leave-in. 
I also now I will try I have tried a few other leave-ins with it but I've never tried the adjoining leave-in from this actual product line I do plan on picking this up uh, picking that up because I do want to try because I do like a leave-in but I prefer this product without a leave-in um, so I feel like this does provide a lot of moisture and hold but it does not it does not for me it's not an eco style of hold I'm just being honest with you what I love about this is the ingredients the ingredients are amazing it, they are amazing if you want a natural hair gel this is it this is it and you're you're gonna love it the problem is is that I don't feel like it holds my hair as much it doesn't give me the, that hold that I'm really looking forward to the curl it clumped my curls but it didn't hold it like for a few days it was honestly like a at that time it looked beautiful but it didn't really have much longevity however the ingredients is where it's at like if I was a person that was stuck on not using any really questionable ingredients and I really wanted to use an, a product that literally I could pronounce every ingredient that goes in along in here it's pretty good so I'm not saying nothing bad about it I will continue to use it and I will continue to buy it because I do like it for my hair as well as Kenny's hair but I go I use this with expectation so I use this when I know that I want to wash and go or something like that and it's not going to last very long but I just don't feel like putting really bad products on my hair I'm going to use or bad ingredients on my hair. The next one is another gel and this is by Myel, the Honey and Ginger Styling Gel. Now I've heard so much about this and this is what I picked up for Kennedy when she first started school because you know I always start Kennedy's I always start Kennedy school year off with a wash and go and her wash and go was beautiful I was like oh I found it this is a honey and ginger styling gel in rich curl definition and moisture retaining formula now this says that it does um, eliminate frizz and everything and right out the house in the morning her wash and go look dope by the time I was picking my baby up from school what happened to your hair this doesn't have any hold it doesn't have enough hold for my and or her hair now I've tried it in my hair as well and I honestly feel like this is a product that you would use if you are in the three family even maybe 4a but for my hair and for her hair when that moisture hit it hit our hair with this product it just it the frizz and the it just blew up so Unfortunately, this is a pass for me. It smells super good. I love honey in my hair, so I do like it, but I was hoping that the gel portion and the honey would be a perfect combination to where I would get the moisture and the hold, and it would have been great, but it didn't do that for me or her. The next product is by Camille, Camille Rose Naturals Aloe Whipped Butter Gel. Now, what I will say about this product is I picked up this product because I was watching... Um, I can't oh my god it smells so good because I was I was watching one of my youtubers on here and she was just raving about it and sometimes I want that wash and go or I want that hairstyle that I don't that it's not always way down you know sometimes I want the fluff sometimes I want the movement and I was like oh this is a butter and a gel right I love that butter gel let's try it you know um I just I it, it did not it didn't give me necessarily the curl definition I was looking for and it had no hold so the gel portion of it didn't hold my hair and I can't say that my hair felt like extremely moisturized this and this is not cheap none of these the, the four products I've already showed you none of them were cheap they were all over maybe $15 so a little disappointed in this um, I did use this initially for this hairstyle right here and then I felt like it was dry so I went in with something else but um, this did at least get me started um, would I repurchase no I wouldn't repurchase this let me know if you want a full review and demo because I'll give you that too the next product is the Alake Naturals honey and sage deep conditioner now this bad boy I um, 
was looking for a deep conditioner from Kennedy and I hair and I saw it and I was like, oh, you guys know, I like honey. I'm a honey girl. Honey, aloe vera, argan oil, all those, all those, those are my ingredients. They talk to me. I like honey. Anything that's going to keep moisture in my hair, I'm here for it. I am a low porosity, I just should have started off with that. I am a low porosity, fine head, natural. So, all those things, I can, you know, I like honey. I noticed that glycerin really um, pulls, does, does a lot of the same things that um, honey does, but glycerin makes my hair feel like um, limp, limpy. Honey helps my hair never makes my hair feel limpy but it adds moisture just the same way as a glycerin does so that's why I really like honey so it drew me to this bad boy and I used the whole jar this is pretty much gone now um I use it as in my hair as well as Kennedy's hair and I have to say I really like it I really liked it now I remember it when I first put it on it doesn't have a lot of slip in my opinion when I put it on like it just it wasn't an immediate thing this is a product that you have to put on get under the heat and really let these natural ingredients really penetrate your hair and then afterward when you rinse it out you'll be like okay I see it I see it I I I I see you I see I see what you do I like what you're trying to do there and it did work um it didn't work enough for me to go and repurchase it just didn't I'm gonna be honest with you I think I spent like maybe $15 on this probably a little bit more I don't remember I brought it from CVS but it was good because I used it you know I'm not gonna do use anything on my hair multiple times that, that I don't like it was good it just didn't do enough for me to say that's it like I want to repurchase that it was nice it worked my hair definitely felt more moisturized. You can tell. You can tell when your hair has been properly detangled. I mean, I'm sorry, deep conditioned. You can just feel your hair, your hair manageability, the everything about your hair after a shampoo. You know when you have gone in with the right deep conditioner. And I def. This is a great deep conditioner. I don't have nothing to necessarily say negative about it. It just for some reason didn't do enough for me to say, all hell, this deep conditioner. So. The last product, and the one I fell in love with, oh, I will buy it over and over and over and over and over. It's also the cheapest product I think I have in my house. And you guys know I have a lot of hair products. It is the cheapest, but it works the best. Oh my God, this stuff right here. Oh my gosh, it's horrible. The ingredients are horrible. The stuff is amazing. <laughs> oh my God. This stuff is amazing. Gosh, I love it so much. It has the aloe vera, it has no residue, alcohol free with UV filters. Now, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I love that it has the aloe vera when you, it doesn't really, I mean, I can't read that. That's where the ingredients, uh, who, me, that's gonna happen. So I can't really tell you where, I guess I can look it up online and figure out where the aloe vera actually falls within the ingredient list, but I spent maybe $3 on it. And I've used it numerous times in my hair as well as Kenny's hair, and I haven't even made a real dent in this bad boy. I like it. I like it. I like it better than Eco Styler. As far as the clumping and the longevity, and I can use my favorite leave-in, it really just works, man. And the humidity has nothing on my hair. Like, humidity where? Humidity what? In a wash and go. In a wash and go. Uh, especially like on day one, two hair. It's fantastic. I can get longevity. I can lay down my edges with this bad boy. I really, really like this. And I'm not saying it wiped out every Eco Styler gel because still my favorite Eco Styler gel is their, um, the gold one. I would, I would use them both. And it be honest with you, I would probably buy this before buying that. One, because it's cheaper. Two, it does just a good job, if not a better. My hair likes it. It, go, it goes on so smoothly. Oh, Lord. Oh, out of all these products, and I mean out of all these products, 
Lime Extreme is by far my favorite. Cheapest, it works great. I, I do, I like it a lot. So that is it guys. This video still went a little longer than I wanted it to, but that is my quick fire, um, most popular, current popular products that's on the market that if you guys want a full review on any of these products and demos, please leave it below and I will be sure to do that. I might just change my mind. I'm a woman, I'm entitled to change my mind. But for the most part, that is how I'm feeling about each of these products. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't done so already, please rate, comment, and subscribe. You definitely want to subscribe so you never miss another video with your girl from the one and click the bell. So you never miss another video with your girl. And I love you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the very next video. Love you guys. Mwah. Bye guys.